Lesson 16.4c, Interpreting a Dot Plot Outliers. A dot plot can give us a visual picture of a spread, center, and shape of a data distribution. We can describe the spread of a data set by identifying the least and greatest values. We can see 0 is the least and 7 is the greatest. And this is number of siblings for some people. And can you imagine having seven siblings? So that is quite different than the normal one or two clustered right here. An outlier is a data value that is much greater or much less than the other values in the set. So this seven, that's an outlier. It's way far away from the other values, isn't it? It's an outlier because it's much greater than the other values. And we can look for outliers to describe the spread of data. We can describe the center of a data set in terms of peaks, clusters, or symmetry. A symmetric distribution has approximately the same number of data on either side of the center. So here's the peak. It's the highest one. And clusters are groups of values that are close together. We can see there's an outlier over here, and there's an outlier over here. And this is symmetrical because a figure is symmetric if a line can be drawn down through the center, like in this hexagon. And it divides it into two parts that are mirror images. If we fold it over, it's the same. See? So that's symmetric. So our data values are symmetric. We've got about the same number over here that we do over here. And it doesn't need to be exactly the same number. It could be approximately the same number of data values on either side. So this side has 7 and this side has 6. Now take a look at this one. These data values are spread from 3 to 8 with no outliers. The data has a cluster from 3 to 8. And it has one peak at 5, which is the center of the distribution. And the distribution is symmetric. We've got about the same number on this side of 5 as we do on this side of 5. And the data values are clustered around the center of distribution. Take a look at this dot plot. They're all on this side of the number line, aren't they? But we have one outlier over here. We need to describe the spread. Well. The data values are spread out from 1, this is between 0 and 2, so that's a 1, all the way up to 11. And the data value 1 appears to be an outlier. It's way less than the other values. Describe the center. The data has a cluster from 8 to 11 with one peak at 11, which is the greatest value in the data set. Describe the shape of the data distribution. The distribution is not symmetric. The data values are clustered at one end of the distribution, so it's at one end of the number line. Look at this dot plot. Now they're all on the left side. We can find the mean. We know that's a 1, and we have a 1 and a 1. We know we have some 2s. We have a 3 and a 3, a 4, and an 8. We add them all up and we get 28, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data points. So to find the mean, we add them all up and divide by the number that we added, which is 10. We get 28 tenths, which is 2 and 8 tenths. And we can find the median. We can list them, and we take the middle number, but in this case, because there's 10 numbers, it's even, we take the two middle numbers and we find the average, the mean of these, and 2 plus 2 is 4, and we divide it by 2, because we added two digits, 4 divided by 2 is 2, the median is 2. Now, for this data set, if we remove the outlier 8, it would change the mean, but not the median. If we got rid of this 8, and removed it, then we'd have to remove this 8, which means we wouldn't have 28 tenths anymore. We would have 20 ninths because we took the 8 away. It's now 20, but because we also took the 8 away, we don't have 10 digits anymore. We have 9 digits, 
that would be 2 and 2 ninths. So we'd go from almost 3, 2 and 8 tenths is almost 3, down to just a little bit more than 2. So the mean changed when we took away that outlier. But the median, because we had an even number of data values here, if we took this 8 away, well then we wouldn't have to add these. We would just have this, 2, as our median. So that wouldn't change. The only way to know for sure is to actually figure out the mean and the median to see if it changed. Okay, we finished the third part. We've got one last part to this lesson, finding measures from a dot plot. So now you know all about the lonely outlier. Have a really nice day, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.